quickly tell us what was the um, atmosphere when this book was launched. I saw a lot of amazing personalities there. <laughs> I, I, I really, uh, I, I, I would want to wish that this Sunday, which will be like a week, we will have everybody who was at, at the launch yeah. to tell us their expectation yeah. prior to the launch and their observation after the launch. Clearly, there will be a conflict. I mean, most of the people who went to the Pediatric Valley Resort, seeing the excitement, yeah. everybody thought, the book was going to be about celebrating certain milestones yeah. achieved. I mean, how yeah. she was able to break through in the industry and certain things. Yeah. That, you, you, that was the mood I was reading on the faces. Yeah. However, what made people a little skeptical was the title, mm -hmm. I Am Not Even Nelson. So people were like, how? Why are you not even Nelson? Mm -hmm. All this while, we've known you to be Ibon Nelson. Yeah. But what calmed nerves was that she is an actress mm -hmm. and she can be fictional about the title. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the, the if you know Pedrasi Valley Resort, yeah. the street down to the junction, the filling station opposite mm -hmm. Pedrasi Lodge, then the road down to the valley where the resort is and the park, car park were filled. Wow. When you enter, I mean, the room was filled to the rafters. They have to create certain seating, new seating arrangement for the likes of Becca and other people, two, about two new rows in front. Wow. And behind, there were a lot of people standing, including John Dumelo was even standing. A lot. And at the red carpet, where yeah. they held the red carpet, it was also an <laughs> overflow. So people said, if this had happened in a crowd, it would have been true. crazy. Because, yes. I mean, the people were a lot in there. And my, I, I started sensing something mm -hmm. when I realized that it's her book launch, but she wasn't seated. Okay. She was rather behind where mm -hmm. there was a table and the book people were. So now Shoko was the MC, MC things. I thought that, okay, you, you've written a book. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a celebratory stuff. So you have to be right in front. So yeah. she came to sit at, at a point. Uh, uh, the, uh, Rover, uh, this, this lady, this producer, Shelly, Shelly from and Pumas, Jocelyn yeah. and other people came, and she gave them their chair and went back to stand behind. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, what is it? What is it? Is it that she wants to drop something? Then... My, my suspicion was confirmed when she started addressing, where she said, gathered here today, thanking her sponsors, and then saying, gathered here today are family. No, I'm not, I'm not sure any of my family is here. Yeah. Friends, then mentioned. That would be very emotional. That, yeah, when she said that the room was like, oh, it was like a little moment. Because the face, the demeanor, she, she said that, meant that, indeed, there, there is a certain bombshell coming up. So that is where I, I braced myself for, for the bombshell. And she said the reason why she's launching the book, that she wants to inspire other people who are in similar situation. And she's, I mean, giving us details of some of the things she had to endure up to this age. So we should hold on. Then after, there came a documentary well, the, the concept of the whole book has been uh, used for a documentary. So they, they play that documentary for okay. us, where somebody's mother got pregnant, mm -hmm. and the mom said the pregnancy is for this person. And it's like there was a big fight. And in the book, her, her brother, Enoch, who is the uh, son of the, the mother, elder brother, told her that when they gave birth to her, there was a big fight between her mom and Mr. Nelson. And... It was at the point Mr. Nelson didn't come around again, like something of that sort. So that thing was enacted. That is where re enacted in documentary terms. So they stick that in. He wasn't happy about the, the pregnancy whole thing. The man went for DNA and she, she confronted the woman that she's not my daughter, like that kind of thing. So now she was treating other, the other people who were the, her children to the neglect of uh, that girl who was involved. And 
uh, she went through this to the extent of her friend Karen, who helped her uh, go for the Miss Ghana beauty competition. And later, that was like the start, uh, the, the, the stepping stone for yeah. her, her career into the movie industry.